Jason Ritchie and welcome back to Free Friday. Subscribe below for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of free harmonica lessons and a new one every Free Friday. That's what Free Friday is about. Yo, if you like the content and you see that no matter what, even in my mom's garage in Washington State, I'm bringing it to you every single Friday. If you dig it, yeah, man, subscribe. Yeah, girl, subscribe. Yeah, whatever, subscribe. And check me out on Patreon, too. That's where you can support me. You get a little bit of free content, behind-the-scenes stuff. What are we doing today? Let's jump right in. Okay, so today we're going to take a vamp. You might have seen my jumper on the line video. And a lot of people ask the question, what's a vamp? A vamp is just a repetitive group of notes played over and over and over again. A vamp is akin to a good, solid, consistent drum beat. If you have a consistent beat that flows in a linear kind of way, what do you want to do? You want to dance. You want to move. You want to groove. You want to be part of it, right? If that drum beat gets too complicated, suddenly that little groove goes away, right? We don't have that feeling we want to dance. We want to be part of it. At best, maybe I want to stop and go, damn, that's a good drummer, right? And watch him but that movement stops. At worst, I go, let's go to a different club. This guy's crazy. Right. So we want a consistent groove. So I'm here today to give you an easy vamp right in the middle. Like, you know, beginner to intermediate level vamp. It's a Howlin' Wolf vamp that was used on the song Commit a Crime. Stevie Ray Vaughan did it too. I've done it in the past. As a matter of fact, I used to do jumper with this exact vamp before I learned how to do it the way that RL was doing it. What's the vamp? Let's get into it. It's going to be a four blow, three draw, half step bend, two draw, two double bend, two draw. <laughs> So that's the whole thing, okay? But now we can we can throw in things just like a drummer does, little fills, but we want to be careful with them. We want to get satisfied with that groove to the point where we're kind of hypnotically involved in it, where we're really, really grooving on it and feeling right about it. <laughs> And I can make subtle changes to it, especially with time. But dam ba dum ba dum bow, dam ba dum ba dum bow. Instead instead of ba ba dum ba dum bow, ba ba dum ba dum bow, I can hit that note a fraction of 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 a second a little late. But dam ba dum ba dum bow, ba ba dum ba dum bow. That's when you know you're in the groove is when you're feeling the little subtle, magical, little elasticity of time things we call that swing. <laughs> now, you can also subtly change the vamp itself. Not talking about time here, I'm talking about the notes or the length of time that I spend on each note. But I want to be careful and when I change it, I really want to be listening to what the band is doing or if I'm playing solo, I want to be changing it subtly and consistently. Something like this. So I'll play the regular vamp for a little bit. You know who's the king of this? The king of this is Alan Wilson, all right, from Canned Heat. All right, the subtle, subtle changes that he would make to a vamp 
that would respond to what the vocalist was doing, what the band was doing, what the bass player was doing, what the drummer was doing. All of them were responding to each other in one incredible organic living organism that we call groove or pocket. Sometimes it's called pocket. That especially has to do with the time. When am I going to hit that beat? Am I going to hit it early? Am I going to hit it early? Am I going to hit it late? Am I going to hit it late? Or I'm going to hit it on time. I'm going to hit it on time. I'm going to hit it on time like that. So I'm just going to now subtly change the notes themselves or the order of them. Again, I'll start off with the vamp and establish the vamp at least four times. thing I can do. I got a little off there. See, I tried to do too much. Let it happen naturally. Check out that last part. I can just simplify it. Instead, I was trying to complicate it before. What if I just simplify? Well, not all of it. One of them, I, I really like the ones where instead of going back up to the two draw, I just stayed on the two double bend, or I went up to the three half step bend. <laughs> cool too right but then you know check it out the other stuff I was doing with just like one little tiny movement <laughs> taken the lick and I've taken out that whole four blow three draw two draw thing I got rid of all of that and just dropped it down to Thank <laughs> you. 
now. <laughs> It all comes down to this. One, two, three, four. Now you hear them them little pops and stuff check out my video on the uh, on noises and percussive sounds right it all comes from counting one and two and three and four and one and pop and three and four and one and pop it's all about me counting that stuff didn't start to happen organically in my playing until I started counting a lot. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four. <laughs> Stay tuned for the credits. Oh, wait, there's no credits this week. Let me give them to you. Hey, y'all, thank you so much, Patreon patrons, making it happen every single Friday. Honer harmonicas. Honer harmonicas, especially that are made by my man Tom Halchek of Blue Moon Harmonicas, all linked below. Harp gear amplifiers, and never forget the Lone Wolf Blues Company, the best in all amplified needs from microphones to pedals to you name it. Lone Wolf has got it, and Randy Landry, the guy who runs it, right out of Ponchatoula, Louisiana, is a great person. So is Tom Halchek. So are some of the folks at Honer. Thank you, guys. The ones that I know are, anyway. Really super guys. Thank you very much, super people. You know what I mean. I love you all. Appreciate it. One more time, subscribe below if you haven't. Most of the videos are a lot fancier than this one. This one's just from my mom's garage. But what do I always say? Free Friday, no matter what. And remember, today is going to be another great day. Who says that, brother? Lee Mac 912. Why does he say it? You got to wake up in the morning and tell yourself today is going to be another great day. Why? Because the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the truth and the lie. So when you wake up in the morning, you might as well tell it something good. I've been doing it for three years and I've had a bunch of great days. Not every day has been perfect. But every day that I've done that has been a good day. And sometimes they've been great days and they definitely wouldn't have been even good days if I didn't start off with that attitude. You need to bring that attitude to your harmonica playing. Look, it's not gonna happen overnight. You gotta chill. You gotta get into it. Remember what I said the first thing? Find that hypnotic groove. Before you start to add that extra stuff, just chill with it. <laughs> The minute that you become satisfied with not playing anything else than that and locking into that groove and really feeling that sense of time swing, that's the minute everything else is going to come. <laughs>
Junior Wells. Later.